Hey peoples, it's me Tristan and this is another one of those drops on commander updates. A new year with a new uh, strength. The PHR Nemesis Command Walker. So when I looked at the rules, of course the Hades Walker sounds more reasonable, but as my force is a desert army, I thought why not get the Nemesis one, because with this super laser it would really fit into the uh, desert uh, theme so it comes with this pile of uh, pieces and actually it looks way better better than on the pictures and the main body piece actually would work really well as a spaceship or a, like hovercraft of some sort I'm always quite surprised by the quality of the resin that Hawkor Games brings out. All of those pieces have a little bit of uh, cleanup. Yeah, I think all of them have a little flashing. There are also two metal pieces, which are the front cannons. I'm gonna, now I'm going to clean it up and assemble it. <clears throat> so I've finally finished assembling the beast. It is quite big indeed. It took some time to figure out how to assemble it, but in the end I used this piece of cork. I rested the body on top of this and then I glued down the legs so it would be all on level and it would be straight. I haven't glued down the main gun, it pops off. Um, maybe it will be easier to transport it without being glued down and it's the fit is super sh like snug and once undercoat it I'm pretty sure it's it'll be even tighter next up I'm gonna paint this so the nemesis command walker is done it definitely took me longer to paint than any of the other pieces the longest part in the indeed was uh, doing the camo on the armor here it is quite massive underneath I just painted the metallics and washed it. I think that'll be enough. Uh, this bit here was the place where I glued it down to a champagne cork to paint it. Uh, but I might just go back on moment, just paint that little patch over and uh, wash it just to, you know, work it in there. Canon has its own like uh, command compartment. One dude is in control of the cannon and the others are in here in the front bit. I really really like this model but if you see it up close in reality you see that it has actually so much detail and it looks really slick and smooth especially the main hull it's it looks really nice I would even like to make a small spaceship out of that bit just without the tail and without the legs it would be I think really nice comparison because this is really huge. Uh, I'm gonna show you the usual small walker, like the most basic walker you have. Look how tiny that thing is. Here's an AA tank, also quite tiny. And here's the Tyrannis. I've been uh, chatting with Billy Jones and he was uh, inquiring like what happened to the Drop Zone Commander project, but it's still ongoing. I'm not sure when it, I can uh, expand it, but Probably if I should get a following thing, it should be the rule book because I'm still using a digital version of the rules. <clears throat> and yeah, uh, I should uh, get a few games in and see what this big thing does. I've read that it's not that good on the table, but I don't really mind because it looks nice. It would be fitting in a desert uh, setting. So not much lighting in my class cabinet, but here you see all the stuff. Yeah, that's that's my PHR4 so far. As I've said countless times before, I really want to get rid of this infantry and get replace it with the metal versions, because obvious reasons. Besides uh, that, the bases are totally different. I want to do it the desert themed, as on here. What more can I say? Thank you for watching, keep it safe and I will talk to you in the next one.